Hey fans, welcome back to Gigabyte's Motherboards and Bricks channel. My name is Leon Chen, and if you guys haven't heard, AMD has just launched their newest AM4 platform. This platform supports the new Ryzen processors, and today you're lucky enough to get to see an unboxing of our AX370 Gaming 5. This is another motherboard from our Oris Gaming Series brand, and this motherboard supports all of the Ryzen CPUs from the high-end 1800X all the way down to the 1700. So, let's look at the box and we'll take out the board so you guys can know what to expect when you start your new AM4 Ryzen PC build. So on the box you can see that this board has a lot of the features that you've seen we, us talking about when we're looking at ORS. It has the RGB Fusion, <clears throat> so you have control in our Gigabyte App Center as well as the RGB Fusion app uh, in different zones as well as uh, support for RGBW light strips and RGB UV light strips. It also has SmartFan 5, and with SmartFan 5, you have that independent fan control. You can set the different fan curves in the App Center or in the BIOS. And one of the good benefits about SmartFan 5 it's, is that it utilizes all of the hybrid fan pin headers. So all of the pin headers on the board are hybrid fan pin headers. They can automatically detect what type of peripheral or fan you connect to the device, uh, connect to the pins. So whether it's a pump or a high current fan, the pin headers will automatically detect it. Not only that, you can actually change the respective fan pin headers thermal readout. So depending on if you want it to read from the CPU or from the chipset, it'll actually ramp up or ramp down depending on the temperature of the item you select. And with SmartFan 5, it also supports water flow sensors as well as water temperature sensors. And as you can see, this board does support that Ryzen X370 chipset. It has a killer NIC and this is VR ready. So if you do want that best VR experience for all of you VR pioneers, this is definitely one of the boards to look at. And with that new AM4 socket, you get USB 3.1 Gen 2 on it. We also have NVMe support from U.2 to M.2. And as we flip it around to the back, you can see the different features we were talking about. The RGB fusion, you get the lit up armor, you have the memory, uh, the LED diffusers between the memory slots. You have the support for the RGB LED strips, RGBW, RGB UV. And one of the improvements we made to this one is our dual audio codec. So you can actually see that on this board, it has dual audio functionality where we have audio code and audio chip for the front and the rear of the board. And with that, it has a smart headphone man amp. So it can, again, automatically detect the impedance of the type of headphones you connect to the jack on the rear or the front of the PC. You have your Smart Fan 5 with nine thermistors, uh, thermal sensors on the board, as well as eight fan pin headers. And of course, this board does have dual NICs. It has a killer NIC and an Intel NIC, and it supports the multi-graphics, so two-way crossfire or two-way SLI, and all of the other different feature sets that we've listed below. And some of these you guys might have heard of before, such as our USB DAC up 2, which is great because we've improved on it by allowing it to give better compatibility and support for power hungry devices such as VR headsets, your RGB LED keyboards, or anything that's very power hungry such as external hard drives. And we've talked about the U.2, so let's take everything out. You can see what comes in the box as well as what is on the board, and we'll do a brief overview so you guys can get a better look. Alright guys, so we have all the accessories laid out in front of you. You get your, you, you get your user's manual, you get your multilingual installation guide, a driver disc. Of course, for most updated drivers, go to the gigabyte.com website or oris.com website and go to your product page to get the most updated drivers on the site. We have our rear I.O. We have cable management ties as well as labels for you to label your SATA cables. You have two external thermistors cables to actually uh, test different thermal temperature readouts or, or thermal readouts from either your graphics card or your solid state drive or even mechanical drive. You have an RGBW extension cable so you can connect this to the bottom of your RGBW pin header and extend that cable all the way out to where you want to start the LEDs um, from lighting. You also have your an SLI bridge so you can actually bridge together two um, graphics cards and of course two packs of SATA cables 
each pack containing one right angle connector, so that's a total of four SATA cables available for you. You have an ORS case badge, as well as a G connector to let you install your front panel headers very simply and easily. All right, so that wraps it up for the accessories inside the box. Let's move on to the board. If you AMD fans aren't excited yet, it's time to get excited because we're going to be looking at the board. So, as you can see, this is the Aorus AX370 Gaming 5. We talked about how it has all of those cool features from RGB Fusion to Smart Fan 5. It has 8 pin headers and 9 thermal sensors. Some of the thermal sensors you can't see, but there are 2 external thermal sensors. So, let's do a quick count. We have one of the hybrid fan pin headers at the top where the CPU power is. We have an, another additional two right here, our CPU fan and CPU optional. We have two system fans here that gives us a total of five. And then we have another three hybrid fan pin headers at the bottom that gives us a total of eight. The two thermistors we were talking about earlier is right here. We have one external, external thermistor sensor at the bottom and another one at the top. So you can actually connect the included thermal sensors to either your hard drive, your graphics card, so you can get a better look at what the temperature readout is, all from the Smart Fan 5 application. So, when we're looking at this board, you can see that it has the retention brackets many of you guys are familiar with. If you're using a cooling solution that is using the retention brackets to hold your fan down, you can continue to use that for the AM4 platform. If you're using one that has a backplate, you need to purchase a new backplate from the third party manufacturer that creates that cooler for you. So just something to keep in mind when you guys are doing your upgrades. You can see it has this Aorus back shielding, so it has the armor right here along the rear I.O. Um, it does support the four DIMMs, DDR4. It has a quick power button, quick OC button, clear CMOS, as well as a reset button right here. And this accent LED overlay is actually an interchangeable overlay so if you find us at events or if you go online we often do promotions you can see the different um, types of overlays that we have available and you might be able to win some or get some from us you have two USB 3.0 headers right here U.2 for NVMe support and you have SATA Express on the side you can see so two SATA Express uh, ports for you to use, and a total of six SATA port, uh, total of eight SATA ports. Sorry, eight SATA ports for you to connect your SSDs or mechanical drives. And as we move down, you can see the front panel pin header connector, where you can actually use that G connector we showed you previously. And right at the bottom, you have your debug LED, so you can actually see what issues might arise if the system stops or if it does a reset on you. Uh, an unexpected reset and you can see what the error code is. Now with our ORS motherboards many of you have already seen we've included diagnostic LEDs so right at the side here there's actually four LEDs and these four LEDs allow users to quickly diagnose the issue with their system whether it's VGA their graphics card or a memory or a boot issue or a CPU issue. So if any of those aren't seated properly, the light will light up and illuminate showing you exactly what component is causing the problems. You have an additional two more USB 2.0s, TPM connector. Right here we have our RGBW uh, pin headers for our RGBW and R or RGB UV LED strips. You have your audio, audio switches so you can actually change the impedance or the number of ohms directly correlated with that and you also have your BIOS switch sorry these are BIOS switches so this is your single BIOS and your dual BIOS switches so you can switch between the two you have your front panel audio and as we move up through the board you can see that all of these PCI slots are reinforced with ultra durable metal shielding and this also applies for our memory dims right here as well so they're all supported with the ultra durable armor that you'll find on our Oris Gaming Series motherboards. It has an M.2 available for users to use if they want to use that new NVMe technology for M.2s and it goes up to 110 millimeters in length. And as we finish the board, many of you guys, uh, we talked about uh, this board having dual audio codecs or dual audio chips on board. We showed a picture of it. Uh, on our Facebook page, that's Gigabyte Motherboards. If you go search, you can actually see that there are actually two audio chips right beneath here, giving you better audio and immersive an immersive audio experience for for your rear connection as well as your front panel header connection. 
As we move to the back, you can actually see that we have, we still have PS2 support. We have the USB DAC up 2. And again, we mentioned this is great for VR technologies, any power hungry devices, external USB drives. You can actually adjust the voltage for devices that have a very long cable and often drop out due to that uh, long cable. HDMI, USB 3.1 Gen 1, that's 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have four USB 3.1 Gen 2s and one in Type-C. And of course, a dual NIC setup, one being a killer NIC and one being an Intel NIC. And gold-plated audio jacks. So that basically wraps up our review and over our overview and unboxing of our AX370 Gaming 5. We hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you guys do any system builds, be sure to share with us. If you like what you saw, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to find out more information about Gigabyte, be sure to like us on our Facebook page. That's facebook.com forward slash Gigabyte Motherboards. All right, you're watching the official channel of Gigabyte Motherboards and Bricks at youtube.com forward slash Gigabyte Motherboards. My name's Leon, and we'll see you guys next time. Hi, this is Greg from ASUS, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the ASUS Prime Z390A motherboard. It's robust and flexible in its design, making the Prime Z390A ideal for the ultimate gaming rig or even a video editing workstation. The motherboard is equipped with an LGA 1151 CPU socket for 9th generation Intel Core processors. It's also compatible with 8th generation Intel Core i7, i5, and i3 CPUs. This board also supports the latest version of ASUS 5-Way Optimization. By using Smart Prediction and Thermal Telemetry, the intelligent module will automatically create an overclock that would normally take you days of tinkering to reproduce. To deal with the power delivery challenges that multiple CPU cores create, the Prime Z390A has extra power phases and extensive cooling features for optimal performance. The Prime Z390A's CPU VRM utilizes Dr. Moss power stages to deliver the power and efficiency that Intel's latest processors demand. This board also features a ProCool 8-pin CPU power socket. Built to a higher specification than standard inputs, they ensure flush contact with power lines and a steady flow of power. On the board, you'll also find four DIMM slots that can support up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, dual M.2 NVMe sockets, and three PCIe 3.0 by 16 sockets, two of which are equipped with ASUS SafeSlot technology, ensuring that your GPU is safe and snug. The onboard audio solution is the Realtek S1220A 8-channel high-definition audio codec featuring Crystal Sound 3, which produces a beautifully warm sound. On the rear I.O. panel, you'll find a PS2 keyboard and mouse combo port, two USB 2.0 ports, four USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, three of which are type A and one with a type C connection. There's a display port, HDMI, two USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, gigabit LAN, five audio jacks with eight channel HD audio, and an optical output. The board features a refined black, white, and steel appearance, but if you want to inject color into your board, there are two RGB lighting zones that have customizable color and lighting effects. And with Aura Sync, you can synchronize the lighting on your motherboard with the rest of your Aura Sync compatible components. If you have any questions or comments about the Prime Z390A motherboard, please reach out to us on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash asus.n.america. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Hi, this is Greg from ASUS ROG, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the ROG Maximus 11 Hero Wi-Fi. Hidden beneath its stealthy exterior, the Hero has powerful tech, robust temperature control, and faster memory support than ever before. The motherboard is equipped with an LGA 1151 CPU socket, 
for 9th generation Intel Core processors, as well as being compatible with 8th generation Core i7, i5, and i3 CPUs. This board also supports the latest version of ASUS 5-way optimization. By using smart prediction and thermal telemetry, the intelligent module automatically creates an overclock that would normally take days for you to create on your own. The combination of two-stage heat pipes and large finned heat sinks on the VRM, as well as five fan headers and water pump header, allow for more efficient heat dissipation and temperature monitoring. Also on the board, you will find four DIMM slots that can take up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM with OptiMem2 support for stronger memory signaling and stability. There's one USB 3.1 Gen 2 front panel connector, as well as dual M.2 NVMe sockets, and three PCIe 3.0 by 16 slots, two of which feature ASUS safe slot technology, keeping your GPU safe and secure. This board also features built-in 802.11ac Wi-Fi, as well as game-first packet priority. The built-in audio solution is the ROG Supreme FX S1220 8-channel high-definition audio codec capable of crisp and clear audio. And with support for Sonic Radar and Sonic Studio 3, you'll have every edge you need to hear your enemies first. On the rear I.O. panel, you'll find two USB 2.0 ports, a PS2 mouse and keyboard combo port, an HDMI 1.4B connection, a DisplayPort 1.2, Gigabit LAN, three USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, one USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C connection, dual Wi-Fi antenna connections, five audio jacks with eight channel HD audio, and one optical SPDIF out. You'll find that the rear I.O. panel comes pre-mounted, making for an easy installation. The pitch black color and textured ROG metal plating makes for a bold appearance, but with two RGB lighting zones, addressable and standard RGB headers, you can add whatever color you like. Also with Aura Sync, you can even match your motherboard's color and lighting pattern to your other ROG components. If you have any other questions about the ROG Maximus 11 Hero Wi-Fi, please reach out to us on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash rog.n.america. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. If you're interested in buying one of this product, links to all the products mentioned in this video are in the description down below. If you like and found this video helpful, don't forget to give a like, comment, and a subscribe. As always, thank you for watching.